कोई तुम्हें चाहे कुछ भी कहे तुम अपनी सुन कभी लगे कि दुनिया के लगाए सारे इल्जाम और पाबंदियां सही हैं, फिर भी तुम अपने सपनों को चुनना तुम अबला नहीं रानी नहीं अपसरा हो Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So yesterday I put up a poll and you guys all voted for daily vlog and since you wanted it, I'm giving it to you. So today is not that exciting, but still I'll try to make it as much appealing to your eyes. So this morning um I woke up, I think it's about 9:30. I have a uh, guided class at 10. Uh, our classes are currently taking place in uh, ward. I quite enjoy Gaini Ward because um, the unit I'm in, the teachers are quite nice and relaxed. They let us like you know ask stupid questions. They let us uh, practice on our own, which is a very big thing for me. Um, I hate when teachers like degrade you um, whenever you ask a question. So. Yeah, I'm quite enjoying this week. Daily, one kg, two kg, galia khata hu. So, if you're interested, keep on watching. On my way to class, wish me luck. I don't know why the hall is so empty. <laughs> It looks like no one is here. I think my teacher didn't show up. I'm just gonna go to the ward now. As soon as I started taking history, I see that the head came in and started taking routes. So this will be our new college building. It's almost finished and it's looking pretty good. I can't wait to see the finishing. So today was a, a bit of a waste of time going to class. Uh, I ended up going early and then finding out my friend slash batchmate. decided to skip out on me today to so, maya to ki kaaj kar liya chike control control with that anyways then i ended up just going to the post uh, nato ward where i wanted to take some uh, history practice taking history that's very important and then take pictures of cute babies <laughs> and then i got caught by my teacher and then i ended up in her room For one hour, we discussed uh, how to take history, and that was uh, pretty helpful, I guess. And then, um, yeah, she told me to write uh, two history paper, and then she'll help me correct it. And yeah, that's it for today. And then I went to Docs to have some snacks. It's very hard for me to like talk and do video over there because I'm still a student. If a teacher catches me, and they'll be like, "Oh, para le ka thuya tumi videography shuru kore this ta, ha? Hey, show me karo." But the thing is, YouTube makes me happy, <laughs> so I'm not gonna stop. Time has come for some questions to be answered. From the starting, I had decided to stay in hostel because uh, it really does help motivate you to study more. Um, my main thing was like I am not that type of person that would study without pressure, and when I see other people study, it like literally motivates me to study as well. So that was the main reason why I stayed in hostel. Plus, it's easier communication because from the ladies' hostel to college, it's like just two minute walk. That's it. So I thought it's better this way. Though living in hostel, um, it's very tough. The bathrooms are nasty. Uh, the food is not that good because compared to like if I stayed at home with, where my aunties, colonies would cook really nice meal and I would have like a nice time. But then I wouldn't be studying at home, so that's why one of the reason why I chose to come to hostel. 
My meals, like when it's exam time, I have uh, one of my kala, uh, she works for me. I make her cook everything, like uh, from uh, tarkari to bhat, everything she brings it. I just study, do my thing, that's it. Water is also a problem because I have to go down all the time and get like fresh wa filter water from mama downstairs. I wish they had a filter system in every floor that would have made my life so much easier. And fun fact, the hostel I'm at right now, it has been declared by government unsafe to live in because it, anytime if there's an earthquake, this is going down first. So when I'm saying I live dangerously, don't think I'm bluffing. <laughs> the following Thursday. So it's Thursday and I'm going to Ghani admission. <laughs> Or what are you Oh, Nanki. Oh, cute. Hi. 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 One of the saddest things about our hospital is like there's not a nice place, like a secure place where we can get changed for OT. So usually I have to wear my scrubs before coming into the hospital. Otherwise, um, I have to take a risk, which I don't like to do. So I'm all clean and sterilized, got my headband on, I'm ready to do some doctoring. So today we're going to be learning how the interns uh, do their duty. It's kind of like a trial period for us. I don't think I can ever get tired of watching people do surgery. It's like art therapy for me. So my batchmate is actually studying the procedures while it's happening. Talk about dedication. Welcome to the world, little one. My one advice, go back while you still can. You can tell by his face, he's already regretting the decision to come to this world. I feel the same way. One of the best thing about having a nice teacher is getting that hands-on experience. And right now my friend is feeling the U-turn contraction. It's pretty dope. Here's me pretending to be an intern and filling up the form. <laughs> At least I look cute while doing it. Well, I do love helping out as a first assistant. I have to say that I can't wait to be the main surgeon in a surgery. Hopefully, inshallah, in the future, it happens. Well, if it does, you guys will be there to watch it. So, yeah. Thanks for always supporting me. Talk about having an amazing teacher. She actually brought us snacks. Uh, I'm so lucky. But the problem is, like, it's a teacher, so eating with her is kind of awkward. Here's me awkwardly eating a puri. I have to say, it was tasty. Free things are always tasty. After the surgery episode, we decided to come to the ward and help the interns out with paperwork. Here I'm filling up the list of people who did contraceptive uh, during the operation. Either they took the 10 year contraceptive or 3 years, it doesn't matter. I have to list them all. Today was pretty hectic. Um, we got to learn a lot. We got to assist. Each one of us got a turn with the patient, um, assisting the doctor while she was operating. It was pretty fun. And then we also got to learn how to fill up the forms, which is very important. And we got to meet some cool people. So yeah, that was my day. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you.